This one? No, <laughs> you don't smell ever. Good, that's good to know. Okay. Oh, because I keep clean. Guys, video coming to you right now about one of the questions I get all the time, and that's how do I stay looking fresh? So today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through the products that I use to feel and fresh, because growing up, I had bad acne. I had it on my face, and I had it on my back. I had back knee. I had back knee. And basically, you know, I was wearing shoulder pads all the time. I was a football player, and I was kind of using a all-in-one product, like, you know, the body wash, shampoo, conditioner, face wash, you just use it for all. You don't know any better, you're a kid. And the thing about soap these days is it's pretty much just a detergent. It leaves your skin more dry, flaky, chock full of chemicals. So before I jump into this video though, I want to tell you that it is sponsored by Dr. Squatch. The reason I love Dr. Squatch and I've been using them for months now is because they're an all natural brand. They make soaps, shampoos and conditioners, beard oils, colognes, and they do such a good job of using raw organic ingredients. They're gonna really just leave you feeling good, leave you feeling clean, leave you feeling healthy. They're not gonna mess with your hormones or your skin's pH. They're not gonna leave your skin feeling dry and flaky either. So I love them. I've been using their soaps for a long time. In this description, you can actually click the link and get 30% off of their best-selling bundles. There's a couple different ones. There's soaps, there's soaps and the shampoo. I love the beach bundle and I often throw it in with the shampoo and conditioner when I need that as well. The difference between their products and some of the other ones you probably find in your grocery store is that they don't really cut corners. They have a lot less of the undesirable things that modern day detergent soaps put in their products. So that lathers up nicely and stuff smells amazing, but it smells natural. So I definitely highly recommend it. Check out that in the description. My self care routine, I would say is fairly minimalistic. If you ask my dad, it's probably pretty complex compared to what he uh, did growing up. I don't think the guy used body lotion his whole life, but it's 2020. You gotta take care of yourself. You might be manscaping. You know, you need to know the difference between a face lotion and a body lotion. I'm just gonna take you through what I do in any given day. Now, there's a couple things that you can do besides the products that we use on our skin to make sure you're staying healthy. At the top of that list is staying hydrated. If you're not drinking enough water, if you're not drinking enough H2O, your skin's not going to be as moist, it's not gonna be as clear, it's going to be a problem. Also, if you're eating junk food, chances are your skin is less than desirable because you are what you eat. So if you're not eating you know, vegetables and lean sources of protein and eating clean, quote unquote clean, if you're filling your body with partially hydrogenated oils and Doritos and things like that, that will show up in the way you look. Believe me, it will. So without further ado though, my daily self-care routine starts the minute I wake up. Now, you guys have probably seen my morning routine video. What I do is because I live in a place that is pretty dry, I wash my face twice a day. If I'm working out, it's after I work out and before I go to bed. That leaves the morning. Now, I don't wash my face with an actual product in the morning because it dries out very quickly in this climate. But if you have super oily skin, if you're that 16, 17, 18 year old kid that just is producing a ton of oil because your hormones are all jacked up, that's a good thing, but it also leaves you with acne. You might need to wash your face three times a day. So if that's you, wake up, get a product that you're going to wash your face with. Now, if you have oily skin, something that maybe foams will be a little bit better. Again, I wake up, put water on my face, wash it with water, and then I use moisturizer. Now, moisturizer for your face is a must because at the end of the day, that's when we get wrinkles, we start looking old. You know, if you're not keeping your skin moist, you're gonna have red spots, it's not a good look. So, one thing that I do is as soon as I wash my face with water, I put on my daily moisturizer. The one I put on in the morning, has an SPF in it. The one I use has an SPF of 19, it's about 20. Um, you know, it's not super high, but if you think about it, the sun is damaging to our skin. It makes us look old, it causes us to age. And it's not so much that, you know, like, oh, we need to put it on because we're gonna go out to the sun and we're going to be out there all day. But it's more about how you drive in your car, you walk from your car inside. You do that your entire life every single day 
to and from work or just whatever, you're in the sun a lot. So if you don't put on an SPF thinking, oh, I'm not gonna be out in the sun, you're doing yourself a disservice. So find yourself a good face moisturizer cream that has an SPF in it. Depending on when you work out in the day will really depend on, you know, if you can double up on your skincare routine, maybe, you know, like right at night, I take a shower and I take a shower after my workout. If you work out late at night, you're just taking one shower. For me, I shower twice a day. So I'll have my workout. And one product that I love that I always have in my gym bag are disposable wipes. So I like one that is just water-based. If you're in the gym, there's dirt, there's grime, there's other people's sweat that gets on you and that bacteria is all over your body. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, people. And a lot of people are just like, oh, I'm done with the gym. Boom, back to work. They can't shower or they're running errands. At least do yourself a favor, wash your hands, but also use those wipes, wipe off your face, your neck, maybe bring a little moisturizer in your bag and, and re-moisturize, but you know, just wipe off your body underneath your armpits people will enjoy that and your skin gets rid of that bacteria and that dirt that would cause breakouts. That's if you can't make it home and shower right after your workout. And you know what? That's me most days. I stick around the gym, we talk business, you know, or I'm running errands. I rarely have time to go home directly after my workout and shower. So I bring my wipes with me. It's not a big deal. Then when I get home, I take shower number one for the day. So this is typically, you know, two o'clock right around there. I come home, I shower, it might even be five o'clock on some days. You know, I like hot, hot showers. For my body, it feels good. But when it comes to your hair and when it comes to your face, dial down that heat a little bit because too much, you know, scalding hot water can actually damage your skin, damage your scalp, irritate it a little bit, leave it more red, and just more sensitive. So I dial back the, the temperature when I'm washing my face. In that shower, that's when I use, boom, my Dr. Squatch the soap on that. Every other day, I use shampoo and conditioner. Even if you're working out, you know, you don't want to wash your hair every single day, in my opinion, because you get rid of those natural oils and things dry out a lot easier. So I shampoo and conditioner about every other day. And again, that's on that warm water. All of these products, again, in that description below, 30% off any of the best-selling bundles. Do yourself a favor, get on some of these. Your girlfriend will enjoy that. We're gonna actually gonna have a little bit more to that here in a minute when I bring Morgan in. So anyhow, that's post-workout, a shower, conditioner, shampoo every other day. Get out of the shower, reapply that face moisturizer. And if it's, you know, like, boom, it's five o'clock on a Friday after the gym, I'm showering, I'm getting ready, I apply maybe some under eye cream that has a little bit of caffeine in it, it's gonna tighten things up. If you travel a lot or if you're getting older and you wanna kind of defy you know, father of time, get an eye cream, just an eye cream. It's not a whole face cream, an eye cream that you put around your eyes and it's gonna really help with de-puffing or even bags under your eyes. So face moisturizer, a little bit on the eyes. Uh, I'm not going really over my hair care routine right now because that's a whole different video. This is just more skincare, self-care, shower, boom. Now we're on our way to a date, whatever. Then at the end of the night, chances are nine times out of 10, I'm showering before I go to bed. I hate going to bed dirty. Think about that. When you go to bed dirty or product in your hair, it's getting all over your pillows, then it's getting on your face. That could be a potential cause for some of your outbreaks if you have those. So before I go to bed, I also shower. Now in the shower, I'm probably not scrubbing as hard, you know, getting water on there, using a little bit of face scrub, which brings me to my last point. I use a exfoliator one to two times a week in the shower. So I have my normal face cleanser and then I have an exfoliating cleanser that's gonna get a little bit more of that dead skin off. I use that on my neck, my face, my back as well. But again, you can go overkill with that. Too much of that's gonna really irritate your skin. So one to two times a week max. Put on a little bit of face moisturizer. Make sure I use a body lotion at this point as well because you wanna go to bed, lock in that moisture, rest for eight hours, wake up, boom, splash some water on your face. All right. Just got back from the gym. Going to do the smell challenge now with Morgan. So basically I have four of my favorite Dr. Squatch bars here. I also have the men's moisturizing shampoo and the men's daily conditioner. You can use the daily conditioner for every single day. I wash my hair and shampoo my hair about every other day just because I like to lock in that moisture. I just like, I like actually my hair being a little bit dirty looking. Anyhow, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna bring in Morgan, blindfolded her. I have four of my favorite Dr. Squatch soaps. Like I said, you guys can go online and use their pretty much their online quiz to figure out which bar is best for your skin type. If it's more oily, more dry, 
They have all that good stuff there. I like these scents. So we have Bay Rum, we have Nautical Sage, we have Gold Moss Scrub, and Crisp IPA. So we're gonna have her rate those. And then we're also gonna include this generic bar of soap. We're gonna have her rate which ones are her favorite. I think in, in this order, I think she's gonna like the Nautical Sage, the Nautical Sage the most because she lives close to the sea. I then think Crisp IPA. I then think Gold Moss and then Bay Rum. I don't know. This smells kind of girly, so I don't think she'll pick that one for a manly man like me. We're gonna see how manly she thinks I am right now, though. All right, babe. Close your eyes, keep them closed, keep them closed, keep them closed. I'm gonna stub my throat. No, somewhere. you're not. Babe, you kind of got a big head. <laughs> I know I do. Don't, don't get my hair in it. Okay, so I'm gonna shower. Obviously, I kind of smell right now post-workout. You've already Am I showered. gonna smell you after you showered? No, you're gonna smell the bars of soap. So I'm gonna, can you see? No, I can't see. How many You're fingers am I holding nose. up right now? Three. No, I was just seeing if she could see me. I can hear you. I know. You sound like you're out of breath. Well, I'm chopping at your face and you can't see. All right, so I want you to pick your favorites, okay? okay. And for a manly man like me, how do you like me to smell? Like, I know you like me to smell manly. Yeah. So, okay, number one. Am I, okay, so I'm just picking my favorite yes. going one to whatever. Yeah, okay. one to five. Mm. Okay. I like that one, yeah. Here's two. Mm, that sounds, smells very like woody. Three. Mm. What, can you bring it closer to my nose for a second? One and three smells pretty similar. Four. Mm. And then five. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <coughs> that smells like something I would use. Okay, so what was your favorite? Probably, Wait. um, can I smell number four again, please? Number four? Yeah. Um. Oh. Here's number three. I need to smell three and one. Here's three. Mm. Here's one. One. One's your favorite. One's my favorite. Oh! You can take And then your, three. And then three? And then two and then four. Okay. And then five is, I don't even know what that is. It smells so good. Really? Okay, fair enough. All right, so you said crisp IPA was your favorite. I thought, you said this one is your second, second. favorite. Yeah. I got them right, except for I just thought yeah, no. these were sweet. This one's a little bit sweeter smelling. Um, oh, okay. So I said, she's gonna say one, oh. two, three, four. Instead you said one, two, three, four. So I just mixed up one. first and second place. You did well. I did well. All right, so I'm, I'm showering with Crisp IPA. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Cool. Do I stink yet? Do I smell? No, all right. <laughs> you don't shower. smell ever. Good, that's good to know. Okay. Oh, because I keep clean. The reaction to this one was hilarious. You were saying that it smells girly? It smells like it's got, like you can smell chemical. I don't even know if they do chemicals in their soaps, but it smells so chemical based like, compared after smelling it to those ones anyway. Really? Yeah. You smell it. You do My it. girlfriend is not a paid actor. She's not a good actress. I can only tell one. Yeah, this just that one hits hits you very like this <laughs> one smells like it's used. It with, makes you want to cough. With good pro, like this smells like it's used with like real food. Like, it just smells it. raw. Like it yeah. smells. Like there's raw ingredients yeah. you're smelling. Fair enough. I like it. I use crisp IPA usually. Maybe that's why you like it too. Yeah, I've maybe used it's this one. a familiar smell. And then the other one I use. Oh, it's the dark one, hey. Yeah, it's the darker the, bar. It's, it's a black bar. Yeah, that's the one I yeah, also I like that one too. use. Do we still have that one? Yeah. Morgan's coming out of my shower right now. You no, grab it. It's like so thin. Well, I know because I use my bars until they're almost all the way out. It's literally that thin. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is. This is, and this one I feel like is the most manly out of all of them. Yeah. Pine, pine tar? Yeah. I feel like being from Idaho, I'm a pine tar kind of guy. <laughs> um, actually, I will say. It just Chris, smells fresh. It does, citrusy. I'm kind of a citrusy guy yeah. too, but I go back and forth between these two. So as you guys can see, I actually do use these. So it's worn down. It's one of those things that I share products that I like. And if they want to do a collab, like this video, I definitely am all for it because I use the products. And the cool thing is, is when you use the link and you guys purchase, you actually get one of these really cool soap savers. So usually if you leave them in your 
shower or whatever, they just mm -hmm. kind of they sink onto melt. The... Yeah, not melt, but they just kind of dissolve. This little little home for your soap bar. All right, I'm showered. All right, guys, before I jump in the shower and I need to jump in the shower, wanted to let you know, reminder, 30% when you click that link in the description off of your favorite Dr. Squatch bundles, you also get free shipping and a satisfaction guaranteed. So I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna smell fresh. Your girl's gonna appreciate it. Your guy's gonna appreciate it. Whoever, your friends, your loved ones, and you're also gonna like the way you smell. So check that out. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, go smell good.